Um, you're now drumming. <laughs> you're drumming. I love that your family must hate you. <laughs> I mean, that's the loudest thing ever. Can I tell you? So my wife calls me Tappy. Tappy. Hey, Tappy. What you doing, Tappy? Oh, my what God. What happen is you'll just subconsciously be paradiddling. Oh, well, especially because if it's like a new love. Like oh, my every, God. Yeah. So much, it's so much fun. You know, I took it up. When I left the show, I knew that I would need something to occupy. My brain is not a brain that does well with Sitting. Uh, downtime. Yeah. So if I have a lot of downtime, it will, it'll start out with like, you've had a really uh, rewarding career and end up with, you failed everyone that ever loved you. Like it goes <laughs> there, like almost, you know, it'll start here and then just like a day by myself and it just goes, <laughs> yeah. and I sink. So I took this up about five years ago and a buddy of mine uh, was a drummer. And so he gives me lessons and I, and I at first I went on YouTube because I really have always in my life wanted to interact with music because I feel like it's such a beautiful language that I don't speak. You know, I'm, I'm not able to. Yeah, but you enjoy it. Yeah. And so I thought to myself, but I can definitely bang on <laughs> with sticks. <laughs> How hard could that be? Uh, not knowing. That's, wait, that's anything. really hard. Drumming is hard. I've tried. Yeah, I didn't know that. I just thought it was like, <laughs> yeah. But okay. it's really nuanced. It's really, you know what it is? When you're, so much of it is limb independence and all of these things. And it might be a very simple move, but if your body is not accustomed to that independence, if you really slow it down and you work on it and then it starts to click, yeah, that feeling, you can almost feel like a new synapse forming in your brain and yeah. I swear to you it's like the opposite of death and I, I swear to you it, it, it's keeping my brain elastic to yeah something. and you're right the slowing down like any form of music even when I you know studies as a kid like it's if you slow anything down it's easier to learn it's just having the patience like that's right. why I couldn't do piano like vocals for some reason when I started sight reading like with music I picked it up really quickly but piano, I just couldn't play Beethoven like right off the bat. So I was like, fine, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing it. This isn't my forte. <laughs> yeah. I even well, like, I like the busy work of it. Like he'll yeah. send me a sheet and just be like, just do, you know, 16th notes and, and just bang around. But you must have known that you were, you know, I hate to use the phrase predetermined, but you must have felt an affinity really early on because you can't, you can't walk around with a gift like that and not realize it probably pretty early on. Well, I'm with you though in the sense of like, I was, I mean, I know 13 isn't old by any means, but I just mean all, I don't know, every time I hear people in interviews, they're like, I've been singing and dancing since I was two. And I'm like, <laughs> not me. Like, I was like, I, I literally, you know, everyone sang in my small town. We all went to church. So everyone sang. Um, See, I would have thought for you, even in a church choir or something like that, like even at eight or nine years old, if you if you open your mouth, people are just gonna go. That, not really. That was odd. No, that not really. I had so really? many talented singers around me. I really did. I I mean, and I and I know people always say like, oh oh my god, you sing so and you can do so many things. I was like, I grew up with a lot of girlfriends that could do that, so I, it wasn't really an abnormal thing. But you keep interviewing me, John Stewart. Quit interviewing me. Sorry. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.